Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Before we get started, I want to let you know about a free resource we created for you guys today called The Ultimate Guide to Elbow Pain so you can feel and move better. Really hope it helps. All you have to do to download that is just head over to the description below, go click on that link and go right to it, or head to our website, visitready.com slash the ultimate elbow and download that right away. Really hope this helps guys, and let's get to the video. What's up guys, this is Mitch back with Movement Mondays, and today we are with Mo, good life extraordinaire, some people call him Redbeard, you'll see why in a second. Uh, but uh, what we're gonna do is take a look today at bilateral or both sided elbow pain. So oftentimes this is something we hear about and think about, people saying they have tennis elbow, they have golfer's elbow, which is more on the inside, um, but we see it very often with people having issues in the upper part of the neck, shot forward and compressing through where the, up, the cervical spine, so the upper neck meets the base of the upper back, the thoracic spine. And these nerves get compressed and they will actually cause irritation down below. So people are mashing out their elbows and beating this stuff up. Really, the issue is coming from up here. So I'm gonna show you guys a test that you can do to use this, some techniques you can do to work on the mobility of these nervous system structures. Uh, and then in the next episode, we're kind of gonna break that up into two parts. Uh, for the next episode, we're gonna talk about flossing techniques to move that nerve back and forth. So I'm gonna pass this camera back. Well, sorry about the shakiness here, guys. And we're gonna sneak over to Redbeard. There he is, you can oh, see yes. why. There he is, perfect. So what we're gonna have him do is show us his arm out like this, over to the side, and this is the test you guys are gonna do. Is he gonna really flex his wrist and pull? And if he feels a pull into this part of his arm, then we know, hey, there might be something weird going on, something wonky uh, in that nervous structure, especially if it's over where he feels his elbow pain. Now, if he brings his neck towards the opposite side and he feels more of a pull come onto there, if he feels a nice pull there, we know, Something's going on. Do you feel that in the elbow area? Where do you feel that? In the elbow, you can relax there. Perfect. So if we sneak this back over here. Awesome, so what are we gonna do for that, right? So the thing we're gonna do is, is pop onto a foam roll to kind of see if we can get the upper back warmed up. Because if we're sitting down like this, we're jamming the neck, what we wanna do is get the upper back to extend and then work on some of the muscular structures that are gonna be coming down through the chest. So we're gonna do is foam roll upper back and then get a, 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 a ball into front of the pecs here. So I'm gonna have Mo do this, and we're gonna kind of coach him through it, trying to do this one-on-one. -on -one. So I'm gonna grab this, we're gonna have sneak over there. Awesome. So he's gonna pop over here on his foam roller. He's gonna love it. But so he puts that down, kind of base of the shoulder blades here, and kind of arches back, gives himself a nice big hug. Perfect, and he's gonna lean back, open up, making sure he keeps his lower back over here flat and activated, good, and he arches back, come back up, perfect and then back again. And he's gonna work that all the way up his spine. So we can start here, he's gonna move it up and up and up into the other parts of the lower back. Feeling good? Give us a thumbs up. Great, now next piece here, we're gonna pass in this roller, this, this ball, so I'm all you can catch here. Good, so now he's gonna show us how to get into the pecs. So what he's gonna, gonna do here is get that ball into the front of the pec, so just like this. Awesome, and he's gonna take that, push it in with that, his, his yeah, and he's gonna bring the other arm and bring it out to the side as he kind of beats up into that pack. And you can get a good close up of how wonderful that feels for Mr. Redbeard. <laughs> as he goes back and forth. And what we're trying to focus on this is that he's really trying to open up without stressing the nervous structures that go all the way down the arm. If he loosens that up, not only will we improve his neck mobility at the, at the neck where it meets the spine, but the nerve will then be able to get travel down into the arm a little bit better. Feels great, right? <laughs> And he, can, and he can feel it in his elbow as he's doing that. So you want to avoid that end range pain with this, just touch the resistance. So if we have most standing up, now he's gonna go through that test again for us. He's gonna show us that test position. So this is what you guys would do after this. So you do it once, you go through some of these things, you do that again, and you should feel some decreased tension when you wind up that system at the end of it. Perfect. And so he's feeling a little bit improved with that. Good. Bye, Redbeard. Bye. Thanks, guys. Do you have any questions? Give us a give us a give us a, a comment. Follow us on uh, Instagram if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned for part two of this video. Uh, where we talk how to tackle how to floss these nerves back and forth once you've beat up those tissues. Thanks a lot. Good luck, you mean it. Hey guys, thanks for watching all the way to the end. I just want to remind you guys one more time about that free resource we've created for you, for the ultimate guide to elbow pain, so you can feel and move better. All you have to do is head down to the description below and download the link, or head right to our website visitready.com slash the ultimate elbow and get started right there all for free. If you haven't subscribed or liked, please do that. It really helps us out. Share it with your friends and I really hope it helps. Have a great day.